Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. On this episode, I'm going to be making some pixel art that looks like Super Mario. So to make this project, you only need a few items. The first one is your backing piece. This one is 460 by 580. You also need some paints, red, blue, brown and skin tone. And the other thing is your pixels themselves. Now, I'm using 30 millimeter square pieces of timber or one and three sixteenths. Now, you're going to need approximately seven meters of this, but that all varies depending on how high you actually want your pixels, so you can make it shorter if you want and you'll save a bit of money on timber, it's up to you. So the first thing you need to do is mark the piece of timber. This will be the width of our pixels. Now, depending on what kind of 3D effect you want as to how wide or how short we make these pixels, if you want a 2D effect, just cut them all the same size and just have a nice flat Mario. I'm going to put a list of all my measurements right here so you can use it as a reference. So the next thing you need to do is grab yourself some sandpaper and just go around all the edges and just knock all those burrs off. Now that's a real boring process so I'll see you in a second. All 136 blocks are now sanded so the next thing we need to do is paint. Now I forgot to mention at the start you're going to need black as well. His eyes and his moustache are actually black. So the first thing I need to do is paint my backing piece white. Now I don't want to paint the whole thing so what I did was I did lay it out and trace around it, that way I only paint what I need to. And then what I did was I grouped all my colors together just to make it a bit easier to paint. So now that all those pieces are finely painted, I arranged them in my pattern just to make it easier to transfer them across to my backer and I'm going to be sticking them down with just some woodworking glue. Okay, the body's done, looking pretty good. Just got Mario's head to put on, which should be sweet. Super Mario all glued up. Now I'm going to let this sit overnight just to make sure it's nice and dry before I attempt to move it. Now a couple of things I found was definitely take your time, don't rush this thing and also use a straight edge every so often just to make sure your lines stay straight all the way up. Well there it is guys, the Super Mario pixel art. This thing turned out amazing, I'm so happy with it. It has to be one of the most funnest projects I've ever done. As you can see, I've added this black border around the outside just to make it stand out a little bit and finish it off. I just got some half inch square moulding and just glued that on and painted it. It just looks really good. As you can see, by cutting the blocks at different heights to make that 3D effect, 
You can see how his hat stands out a bit further from his face and his moustache and eyes pop out. Same with his hair. And then I figured his shirt had to be a bit shorter because his overalls are obviously over his shirt. Things like that. His shoes are a bit wider just to make it all that nice 3D effect. So I hope you liked that one guys. Hit that like button, that really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you want, I'll put new how-to and build videos out every couple of weeks. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page, Ben's underscore works. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find that. I try and post videos and pictures of upcoming projects. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.